Okay. Here we are again back in Gagey's kitchen. And tonight what we're going to make is we're going to make cabbage, carrots, taters, and bacon. And we're going to do it right here in this big old cast iron Dutch oven. And that's what we're going to do. We're not going to use any fancy things that we got. The Instant Pot, and, you know, air fryer and all that. We're going to do it in a good old fashioned, run of the mill, Harbor Freight cheap cast iron Dutch oven. And to this, I'm going to add, uh, you know, chicken broth from bouillon because that's what I have. We're going to season it up, salt, pepper, but we're not going to get too crazy. What you see here is what's going to go in it. And not all of this, of course. I'm not putting all the carrots and all the potatoes. But what we're going to do first is we're going to get this here bacon in that oven, Dutch oven, that is, and get it frying off. So let's do that. Okay. So you see what I've done there. I just laid the whole pound out and cut it in like one inch one inch strips and what that's going to do is it's going to cook all these little pieces of bacon up into about little one inch squares or something like that something close anyways and then once we get those fried up we'll take those out uh, leave the bacon grease in because of course that's going to give it the flavor and then we'll start building everything else so Stick around. Okay. And that's what I'm talking about right there. The sound of bacon sizzling. And you can't go wrong with that. And look at this. My favorite little spoon. We're going to let this uh, crisp up. And then we're going to take it out. Okay, so in the meantime, while this bacon's been uh, cooking very, very nicely, it's getting there. Starting to get good and uh, good and crisp, some of it. In the meantime, I went ahead and cored. Okay, so the battery died. What I was in the process of saying is, I went ahead and cored the cabbage while this is cooking up nicely. So, uh, let me cut this cabbage up. Once I get it cut up, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the bacon and put the cabbage in there. And then we'll cut some carrots up, potatoes, and get a sip of our blue tea, as Papa Texas would say. We'll take a sip of that, and, and then we'll uh, we'll continue on. Okay, so I got the cabbage all chopped up. I'll tell you, a small head, you know, looks like it's not that much, and and it does cook down. But you know, you cut it up, you need two plates. So I chopped up my cabbage. I opened my blue tea. Papa Texas. Um, I was going to take this out, I was going to take this out and set it off to the side and then incorporate it later, but you know what, why? It's going in anyways, right? So now that we got it, uh, you know, nice and crispy to where I want it, I don't want it like, I don't want it overdone, I don't want it like my mom used to make it. And God bless her soul, when my mom made bacon, it was done. It was like beef turkey. But it was good. I ain't going to say nothing. It was real good. You wasn't going to get no kind of germ off of it. No E. coli. No salmonella. No nothing. She made sure it was done. Anyway, I like mine done just about like this. So, what we're going to do 
is we're going to put this cabbage in right on top of that. And you see I kind of chopped it up coarse. Let's get that right in there. That one. And this one. Let's get that right in there. Give it a little stir. Now this is going to start frying a little bit while I'm cutting up the other uh, the carrots and the, and the potatoes. This is going to start to fry a little bit. We'll put a little bit of salt in here because salt breaks down the cabbage. It draws the uh, moisture out of it. But you want to mix this up. It would have been the same thing if I had taken this bacon out. So this is just uh, eliminates one step. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Let's hit it with a little bit of salt. Another stir. And we're going to leave that alone for a minute. Let it start to fry. I'm going to go over here and chop up some carrots and potatoes. And uh, those will go in next. Look at that. Tell me that's not looking good. I'll tell you what. This smells so good. That bacon and that cabbage. Man, this is smelling way too good. I know you're not supposed to do that, but you know what? I'm the only one eating it, so. Oh, man. Oh, that. It almost seems a shame to put anything else in there. Because that right there, I could stop right there, cook this cabbage down a little bit with that bacon, and it would be excellent. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put these carrots in there. I'm going to chop up a couple of potatoes on this plate. Bam. Put them in there. A couple of cups of uh, chicken broth from bouillon. We're going to simmer it off for uh, eh, about an hour or so. hour and a half. However long it takes to get uh, done to my liking. And then we'll go from there. So I got these chopped up. Let me chop some potatoes up. We'll put it all together. And let it simmer down. Alright, there we go. We've got the uh, carrots chopped up. we got the potatoes cut, cut up. Let's get these guys in there. No right way or no wrong way to do this. Just... Get them on in there. Let's get these babies. Let's get them stirred in here. Let's get it all mixed up good and good and proper. Man, this is smelling so good. I wish you guys could smell this. This is smelling absolutely Wonderful. Okay, now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. A little onion salt. A little onion salt. Not a lot, because bacon's got quite a bit of salt in it. And then we're going to go with some uh, good old-fashioned... Well, you know what? We'll put some fresh cracked black pepper in. Okay, we're going to add two cups of freshly mixed chicken broth from Bouillon. We're going to put that in here. And that's it. And that's it. That's all of the more liquid I'm going to put in there. See there? See where it's at down there? Okay. That's all you need. 
we're going to get this to a uh, to a simmer and uh, turn the heat down on you know medium low and let this uh, go ahead and simmer for about an hour hour and a half and then with with a lid on of course we're going to put the, you know what let's do that right now so we don't forget so everything's mixed up got everything in here we want let's put our lid on there and that's that turn the heat up a little bit to get it going I'm gonna bring it up to uh, like I say up to a simmer let this simmer for about uh, an hour check it if it needs more time we'll go from there I'm gonna go in here sit down watch a little bit of TV while it's doing that sip on my uh, blue tea as Papa Texas would call it and uh, we'll check on this in about an hour all right here we are an hour later after we've let it uh, slow simmer I turned the fire off we're gonna take this lid off and see just what it looks like okay so there we go look at that I'll tell you what that is looking pretty darn good let me see here let's test one of these carrots on the side here oh yeah nice and tender let's find a tater let's see they're in here somewhere there's there's one. Oh yeah the potatoes are soft tell you what the only thing left to do is get some of this in a bowl and give it a taste I'll tell you what that looks good I put a little bit of uh, real butter on the top of look at look at that melting off that's good and hot I put a little bit of real butter on top just to top it off and uh, we're going to give this thing a try. Let's get a little piece of cabbage, carrot. Let's try that first. Mmm. Look at them potatoes, done perfect. A little piece of bacon almost looks like ham now don't it let's get a piece of that a piece of the cabbage let's get a piece of the carrot mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you what This turned out excellent. If you like cabbage, bacon, carrots, and potatoes, you love this. Guarantee it. What do we even call this? Dutch oven? Dutch oven cabbage and uh, cabbage and bacon. I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, that bacon, leaving that grease in there, it really comes through. My God, this is good. This is delicious. Like I said, if you guys like cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and bacon, you'll love this. And it's so easy, so give it a try. Until next time.
Thanks for watching.